If you've been following the channel for quite some time, you're possibly wondering what the, the new intro music was all about. It is tied in with the build option we're actually going to look at later on in the video. If you've managed to figure it out already, then props to you. If not, I'll give you some hints later on. For this video anyway, we'll have a look at Miles Morales. So we'll start off with an overview and we'll check out his stats. We'll then have a deep dive into his abilities. We'll check out his team bonuses. Next up it's the synergy section where we look at the characters he synergizes well with and characters he doesn't actually synergize well with. We'll then check out the build options available and the optimal ISO A. Next up it's the alternative costume and then finishing up we have a quick summary. So let's jump in and start off with the overview. Miles Morales is primarily a melee character, but within his kit he's actually got a range skill as well and quite a few of his moves he can be airborne while casting them, so it provides him with a lot of versatility. And then on top of that you've got the shock aspect of him as well, which is absolutely incredible. Now, looking at all of his four abilities here, all of them actually have the shock tag. The other tags you have are energy and also projectile, so shock is the way to go when you are gearing them. His hero trait is Web Sling, which we know is a useful one. Maybe not as good as Flight, but it can be good for getting past a, a wave of mobs that you potentially don't have to take out if you're trying to speedrun through a level. It does have Electricity Resistance, that's useful in certain boss fights. His stats aren't great, but his abilities make up for it. So if we break down the stats anyway, Strength is a D, Vitality is a D, Mastery is a C, Resilience is a C, Durability is a D, and then his Energy is a B. So as mentioned, not very great there but no way does this actually hold him back now i will mention that we've talked about the shock aspect of him being on all of his abilities isn't unfortunately on his light or heavy attack even though his heavy attack would suggest that it would have shock on it because it's a big shock explosion so just need to bear that in mind when it comes to actually building him and putting iso 8 on him but that's the overview let's now have a look at his abilities The first ability we unlock on Miles is Web Shooter, and it's the one I use the least often on him once I actually unlock the, the further abilities. So this is your standard projectile attack, it has the rapid fire synergy trait, meaning you can convert it into Ricochet. With this I'll only really use it if potentially Miles is low in health and I want to get the finishing blow on a boss, so I'll jump back and I'll just attack him at range with Web Shooter, but by and large I won't use this just due to the fact that the following skills we're about to look at are just so much more fun, so let's actually check them out. With the next ability here, this is where things really start to get fun with Miles. So this is called Surprise Attack. You can actually use this as a gap closer if you want to get closer to an elite or a boss to start wailing away on them with your other attacks. On top of this, it's got the Shock Ability trait like the rest of his abilities, and you can actually self-synergize with this. So what this means, because I don't think I've actually covered it in any previous videos, is that Miles Morales can create a synergy attack using his own abilities. So you'll fire one off, follow up with a subsequent ability and then you've got a synergy attack so incredibly useful if you're trying to stun a boss or an elite and there's no other characters nearby now we're actually going to look at the attack that it synergizes with this next ability then is called high voltage lines and this really is the core of miles morales so this one you may look at it see the fact the damage rating is f and think it looks underwhelming but that's not the case at all now Two main reasons really, one, it adds shock element to ally attacks and you can see it's got quite a wide coverage. I will mention the fact though that if you recast it when it's already on the ground that it will get rid of the first instance of it, so wait until the first instance of it's actually worn off before you cast it again if you want to be efficient with your energy. Now that's the, the first good point about it, the fact you're adding the shock element to allies. The next one is this is the attack that can be used for cell synergy, so you'll fire this off and then if you follow up with surprise attack or actually in the next ability we're about to look at you can get a synergy attack from them and you can really do a nice amount of damage and again you can stun bosses that are already staggered so awesome ability and one that you'll be using exceptionally often on them final ability we have here then is in our self synergy so this is venom strike so you'll cast high voltage lines first follow up with venom strike and you'll do a huge amount of damage now the great thing about high voltage lines 
due to the, the way it works as a dot it will have a high chance to actually stun an enemy and that means if you follow up with the synergy attack through venom strike or surprise strike then it's most likely going to be an actual crit because the enemy is stunned so absolute amazing combination and it does make Mills Morales a heap of fun to play. Now that's all the abilities so let's check out his team bonuses. For the team bonus section here then, we're going with the new format we've used in the last few videos. It is getting quite busy this section as well, so rather than having gameplay in the background, I'll just have a, a static screenshot. And that means as well, if you want to take a screenshot and refer back to it for future reference, it'll be easier to read. But we're using the new format, but in the description in this video, there's a link to the spreadsheet with the old format we used to use as well. But if we look at the team bonuses available, four different teams for Miles, it's Generations, Web Warriors, Agile Fighters, and ultimate alliance free and your highest characters not surprisingly are your spider-verse characters in regards to the team bonuses and where they overlap so you've got spider-man and also spider-gwen that are sitting at three different teams that they fall into then you get quite a few characters at two as well but the other characters you can use if you're looking to just push out some extra bonuses from the, the team bonus system so let's now have a look at his synergies When it comes to synergy attacks, then this section, although I am covering it, is largely irrelevant due to the fact that it's so easy to actually self-synergize with Miles Morales, but we'll still cover them anyway. So he's got the four synergy traits, which are Slam, Rapid, Fire, Bash and Shock. You can see you can generate quite a few synergy attacks from that. In regards to the top five characters he synergizes with, we have Hulk. I don't believe I've maybe seen him in the top five before. We've got Crystal, Luke Cage, Star-Lord and also Wasp. Bottom five we have here would be Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Cyclops, Thanos and once again Scarlet Witch at the bottom there. So that's all the synergies. Let's have a look at the build options now. When it came to coming up with a, a build setup for Miles Morales, there was really only one setup that was in my mind and it was actually tied in with a song that was running through my mind as I was playing them. It would seem to be a perfect soundtrack for them. We played the start of it at the beginning of the video, so if you managed to figure it out from that, then well done. If not, I'm going to show you a short clip of this. It's a song from my youth and I'll put a link to the song as well because it's amazing and the video had me in tears watching it again. But here we go, this is the, the Danger High Voltage build. Danger, danger. So if you've never seen the full video, definitely do yourself a favour and check it out using the link in the description below, but I would just say watch it somewhere private because anyone sees your screen when you're watching it they'll wonder what the heck you're actually watching. But the build, it's a danger high voltage build so it's all about the shock damage and crowd control. So with this you increase the damage of shock attacks by 24.9%. We don't have any crit isos because when an enemy is actually stunned via shock then it will be an auto crit so it's all about just bumping the damage numbers up. Now in order to shock them more often you want to place decrease the number of attacks to inflict status effects by 34% on them until you actually get these two which are the optimal ones to use then you can get by by using increased damage done to enemies by 16.5. So that's the build option, let's now have a look at his alternative costume. Once again, the alternative costume at the moment is just a simple recolouring. So this particular one, it changes the red to a purple colour. I'm not actually sure if this ties in with any comic books at all because I'm not too well read on Miles Morales. Now, because we only have the alternative costume to look at, I like to speculate now as to what costumes we could see in the future. So you've got the one from the Into the Spider-Verse animation. I've got it on screen at the moment. I would say this is different enough to actually warrant it being a, a alternative costume for him. And it's the one personally that I would like to see. But let me know in the comments below what costume you would like to see for him. And let's just finish up with a quick summary now.
Miles Morales then, as mentioned earlier on in the video, was a character that I'd heard a lot of good feedback about, but I was really surprised how much I enjoyed him when I was playing around with him for this beginner's guide. The self synergies is just an awesome thing to have in a character because the number of times I've managed to stagger a boss and I can't actually get a synergy attack off to stun them. If I had a pound for every time that's happened, then I wouldn't be doing these YouTube videos. I wouldn't need to, I'd be able to retire. But absolutely awesome character, whole lot of fun to play. And yeah, he's just really great, so I would say check him out if you haven't done so already. Now, let me know in the comments below who you would like to see next. I've got the actual editing and all the, the core of the video done for quite a few of the remaining characters, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long to get the rest of these out. But yeah, let me know in the comments below who you'd like to see next. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, the share button, and leave a comment below to drive engagement. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon.